I play two characters. I play Duke Frederick, who has um, usurped his brother. He's, he's banished his brother. He's taken his, his power and everything. Uh, and he's uncle to Rosalind. And then the other character I play is Silvius, who is a shepherd who is madly in love with a woman who wants nothing to do with him. Uh, so I can, I can relate to that. I play Rosalind, who kind of just before the play starts, she's in a position of power and her father's the Duke and he's banished by Duke Frederick here. And Celia, her cousin, who's her dearest friend in the world, is kind of the new princess. So there's a kind of big shift there. And then pretty quickly you banish me as well. <laughs> you won't have any of that. So I'm sent off into the Forest of Arden. She's really hit rock bottom and has nowhere to go. She disguises herself as a man for, for survival. Mm. So she becomes this kind of other character and gains back a bit more of her power in that way. That's what I adore about her, is that she's purely, and from this point on, acting on instinct. She's got no idea what's gonna happen next and she just tries something out. And so that for the rest of the play, you kind of see her. She's as much discovering it as the audience is. And she's a problem solver, isn't she? Yeah. She sort of looks at people and tries to, she certainly does that to Sylvius. She sort of yeah. looks at him and goes, right, you need this, you need this, you need this. Yeah, she thinks she's a problem solver, but then she causes quite a lot <laughs> and then she causes of problems a lot for herself of chaos. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a lot of fun.